make our way around there to the basketball team in the last to go through uh, senior night and everything. But uh, you know, I want to thank everybody for coming. Obviously, this is a multiple night for a lot of us, probably all of us. But at the same time, we we still got a lot left to do. We got a lot a long journey still ahead of us. But um, first, I like to thank uh, the coaching staff and you know, Coach Crow joined us this year. Of course, he's at the pair of nights sitting there. But, I want to thank Coach Rose and Coach Rambo and Coach Taylor. Uh, they, they've been here with me ever since you guys entered the program. We've been a seventh graders and, 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 and when you started ninth grade. And, uh, I'm very close with the staff. I probably don't tell them enough how much I appreciate them. We got my childhood best friend here who I used to make take me to McDonald's and I call him around everywhere when I was a kid. And I got two guys here that you know, like coach for nothing uh, just to be a part of the program. And, I know the, the big reason they coach is these guys stay in the right here. And uh, she's been a heck of a journey. Thanks to the parents. I've, I've said this many times, but you can't say it enough. Thank you for sharing your son with us. And uh, I know at times it, it, it's tough to wear the dad hat or the mom hat to stand and have someone to coach your son. And I can only imagine how hard that is sometimes. I have my own children. I I can understand it. I put myself on the sidelines and some sports and it's, it's tough. So thank you for sharing them with me. Uh, seniors, uh, who would have thought you know, this time would be here? Um, when I came back home, uh, you guys were fifth graders. And I remember pulling Evan and Luke in there when they were a freshman the night before our first game. If you guys remember, I pulled right in that office, it seems like yesterday, your freshman year, and said, you know, look at this. I still have your sign-up form from my first Franklin Youth basketball camp when you were fifth graders. And going down through there, Jake Rydell, Matt Thompson, and to think that you guys are here now is just, you know, full circle. But... I can't thank Mark and Timmy and all of the parents that coach these guys coming up in Little League or, or basketball. I saw a picture on Somewhere Today, and Mark and Timmy looked like 18 in that picture. <laughs> um, and it had your guys' team, and, um, you know, there, there's been a handful of have been together from, from day one. But um, it's been a heck of a journey. It's been a heck of a journey. I talked to somebody today, and I said, you know, these guys have never lost from junior high. That's not mentioned a lot. Uh, you're 79 and 9 you're, over your last four years. You're going for number 47 tonight in the league in a row. I mean, when you talk about leaving your mark, leaving your stamp on a program, leaving a legacy, you guys are leaving quite the legacy here. And uh, I know all of us in here could be more proud of you. Uh, Cody, I'm sure glad that uh, you joined us this year. You're that, uh, that silent smile, I call him, man. You see, he has this smile about him that light up a room. But um, so glad you joined us this year. And uh, we didn't get to have you for long, but what we've had before, we sure enjoyed you. And uh, there's a champion inside of you, man. I can't see, I can't wait to see what the next chapter of your life brings to you. But I know God put you here for a reason for this year, and we're so excited about that. Um, Cole, probably the most improved basketball player I've ever been around. Two years ago, I saw this guy in the hallway, and I remember him being about five foot nine, and he's walking down by the media center. I'll never forget. I looked, and I, I said, "Do you play basketball, man?" And he was about 6'5", and he was like, well, I didn't play last year. I said, come out. And we did the mic and drill. It was one of the first things we did on this basket. And not to offend or anything, but you couldn't make a layup. <laughs> and to where you've come now in two years is incredible. And, and I've told these guys, I've told you, before the year's over, with I'm telling you, in the tournament, and you did it down in the beach ball, the, the end of one at Luke Fruited, you're going to make a big play for us in this tournament. I'm telling you. We're going to have to have you somewhere along the line, and you're going to be there. You're going to make a big play for us. Okay, so I'm excited. Austin Dalapo, these guys were blessed to have you join us. Coming in your freshman year, I remember going to the kingdom and someone said it and this guy made transfer. And of course, we never turn the camera off. We never recruit. <laughs> uh, but I remember watching in the kingdom and I thought, man, this guy could be pretty good. Potential out the, the silly. And uh, man, not only have you been a great player for us and just kind of fit a piece of the puzzle with these guys, you've been a joy to be around. You've got a heart of gold. I've seen you with kids. I know how good you are with kids. I know how you feel about your family. I've seen you interact with your mother. Um, we're so blessed to have you, man. And I, I, I just, I'm privileged to have, you know, play for me and play for these guys. Um, Jake Rydell didn't play last year. I am sure happy that you come out this year. I'll be honest with you, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know where you were going to fit in. But boy, have you fit in. I was thinking today, we're going to rename we're going to rename, not the basketball court, okay? we're going to rename that far corner over there and this corner right here the Rydell Corner, okay? Because you have been a dagger to a lot of teams from that corner. That's your spot. 
We're going to name that the Rydell Corner. I'm so glad you played this year. I love your toughness. I've told you before, I love how loyal you are to your family. I see your family bond with you all the time. And I love how loyal you have been to me. At Oakwood, I'll never forget, I got the technical. And you come by and said, Coach, I got your back. And you shoved Barkley almost up in the league. Okay? And I told you, that's okay. I have my back right now. <laughs> Matt Thompson, the energizer of the group, man. He knows nothing more in the fifth year. And uh, I probably coach him harder than any player on the team because he can handle that. And I want you to know I appreciate that. There's times I get on you because I'm frustrated with something else. And you're the guy on this team that can handle it. Um, you've made big shots for us after big shots. I think right now he's 11 of 12 in his last four games or something. And the one at Carlisle was from Franklin High School, I believe. <laughs> okay? But um, you've just been wonderful with coach. You're coachable. Uh, you're a three sport athlete here at Franklin, which is not, it doesn't happen. And you have left your mark not only in football, now you've done it in basketball, and now you've done it in baseball. When they talk about the guy from this school that had the most impact and the most sports, man, Matt Thompson's name comes to my mind. Uh, Jake Lydell, another guy, three sport guy. Evan Crow, man, oh man, has it been a privilege to coach you. I always wanted to play for your dad. Who would have known that one day I would get to coach, I would get to coach you. Um, it's, it's, it's been a pleasure. Um, I always say that, and of course this goes for anybody, but I always say that I would love for my son to, to grow up and be like you. Um, so many special moments for you, so many special shots last year against all of you. I could go down the line with shots about you. I'll always remember Talawanda. I'll always remember Coach Taylor offering you a Diet Coke if you make your next shot to get <laughs> okay. The smile you have, and I can't wait to see the next chapter unfold in your life with Taylor. You've got some big things ahead of you, and I can't wait to make that two-hour drive and wear my purple or gold and say, that was my guy. That was my guy. And then Luke, it's been, it's been an amazing journey. Um, you know, four years ago, I was sitting at Wendy's. And I'll be honest, I, sit, I went to lunch with my dad. I had to pick me up. I was depressed. I was going through a rough time. I had a tough group the year before, and, and uh, I was going to resign. I, I just didn't think I was the guy for the job. I, I, was, I think the devil was playing games in my mind, and my dad sat right across from me. And like a dad can, only dads can do this sometimes. They look right at you and they said, son, you've got a young man named Luke Kennards coming into your program, and this whole class around him, this entourage, and it says, of course, my dad didn't use entourage, but he said, they're going to change the whole face of your program. Give it one more year. And boy, do I need to thank my dad. Boy, do I need to thank my dad, because I was ready to turn my resignation. Luke Kennard, you're the best player I've ever coached. You're the best player I'll ever coach. You're the best player I've ever played with, coach, probably ever seen in person. I am so proud when people say, are you Luke Kennard's coach? I don't care if they know my name. I am so proud when they say, are you Luke Kennard's coach? And I, anymore, I say, yes, I am. Yes, I am. I always will be. Forget Coach K. <laughs> I love how you handle yourself off the court. I'm so proud of you. I couldn't. It, this is going to be a tough night for all of you. Uh, but I. But here's a guy right here standing in front of me that started, I think, 88 basketball games for me. And I've always felt like when number 10 comes to the sidelines and gives me this before a game, I always feel from that point on that we got a chance to win. And I don't care who we're playing. When I got number 10 with me, we got a chance. Okay. I want you guys to enjoy this night. Mark Kennard told me. He said. If I can't have my best pal coaching, I'll never forget the phone call. Sitting in my dean of students off in Leinsburg. If I can't have my best pal coaching, I want you to come home and coach. And he said, Felsey, he called me Felsey. Felsey, we can impact the community. This ain't about winter. He said, we can impact the community. Well, I can tell you something right now. If you were at my office this morning at 6.30 a.m., if you look out at this gym right now, I think Mark Kennard was, he knew something. You guys have impacted this community more than any group I've known in my 38 years. My 38, 37 years, 38. You've done something for this community that nobody has done. And these people here tonight are excited to see you play tonight in this trip. I want you to enjoy it. We've got a long journey ahead of us. This isn't over. And I want you to enjoy this night because it will be the last time you ever play here at Franklin High School. Okay? And that's something special. Okay, so I want you to go out there and lay it all on the line and have the time of your life. Okay? And I'll leave you in there as long as I can tonight. All right? <laughs> Anybody else have anything to say before we go out and, and line up for senior night? Put through. Check the time. I don't want to be late to this.
conception. Probably hard to put into words a lot of feelings we're having right now and stuff, but uh, there'll be time for that. So um, we're going to go ahead and endeavor. Now by the training room, I, I want you, you guys are going to go last. I want you to walk your parents across that gym proud. You got someone to your right, to your left. Sometimes you're more than that. That are so proud of you. I know what it feels like to have a son. And I want you to walk across that gym tonight and cherish that moment. You need to hug your dad. You can have a kiss on the cheek if you want, I don't care. Hug and kiss your mom. Make sure you tell them you love them. And uh, let's cherish this. Two minutes to go to Ford. We gotta go. <laughs>